Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce verbs with stem vowel changes in the present tense. You will recall from an earlier presentation that some irregular and strong verbs have unusual second and third person singular forms in the present tense. One verb we looked at was haben, to have, which retains the consonant letter B throughout most of the present tense conjugation pattern. This letter is dropped, however, in the second and third person singular. You may want to review that presentation before continuing with this one. A common characteristic of many irregular and strong verbs is a stem vowel change in the second and third person singular. The majority of these verbs can be arranged into just a few groups. One group has a stem vowel that changes from E to IE. The other group has a stem vowel that changes from E to I and another group has a stem vowel that changes from A to A umlaut. The difficult part is knowing whether a verb has a stem vowel change. This simply must be memorized. Let's take a closer look at these groups now. The first group has a stem vowel that changes from E to IE. So although a first person singular form of sehen would be sehe as in ich sehe den Mann, I see the man, the second person singular form would be Siehst, as in du siehst den Mann, you see the man. The third person singular form would be sieht. The second group has a stem vowel that changes from e to i. So although a first person singular form of essen would be esse, as in ich esse den Apfel, I eat the apple. The second person singular form would be ist, as in du isst den Apfel, you eat the apple. The third person singular form would also be ist. The presentation on the present tense of regular verbs explains why these forms are similar. You may want to review that presentation now. The third group has a stem vowel that changes from a to a umlaut. So although a first person singular form of fahren would be fahre, as in ich fahre das Auto, I drive the car, the second person singular form would be fährst, as in du fährst das Auto, you drive the car. The third person singular form would be fährt. There are also a few irregular and strong verbs that do not fit into the groups we just looked at. Again, these simply need to be memorized. Some verbs, for example, have a stem vowel that changes from au to a umlaut u, as in du läufst schnell, you run fast. Some verbs have a stem vowel change in addition to an unusual conjugation pattern. The verb werden, to become, for example, has a stem vowel that changes from e to i and unusual verb endings in the second and third person singular. Du wirst Professor. You become a professor. The verb wissen, to know, has a stem vowel change from e to ie in all singular forms and unusual verb endings in the first and third person singular. Ich weiß nicht. I don't know. Modal verbs also have stem vowel changes and unusual verb endings, but that is a topic for another presentation. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.